Hey guys, Meet World, it's Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. To radar first, I want to go to Colorado. Here's our storm system. You can see the snow being, being generated in blue over the mountains, rain and thunderstorms over Denver in the front range. So here's what's going to happen. The whole storm system and all the precip will be sinking to the south tonight. And it will exit through uh, southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, where we will get additional snow accumulation. And then it's going to roll out into the plains and the heartland in the Midwest. All right, here are my bullet points this, this afternoon. So as this storm exits Colorado, New Mexico, tomorrow, it will generate severe weather. Hail, tornadoes in the Midwest. Then the whole storm system turns into a major snowstorm for parts of uh, New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and all the big ski areas plus high winds of like 65 mile an hour on 4.3, 4.4, and 4.5. And you can see what happens then out west beyond this. 4.3 to 4.10, two storm systems take shape, and you can see the timeline. Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra in the northeast. So for example, in the Wasatch, I'm forecasting heavy snow accumulation, afternoon 4.5, 4.6, and into the morning of 4.7. In Colorado, I'm forecasting heavy snow accumulation, afternoon 4-5, 4-6, and 4-7, and then another shot of heavy snow coming in on 4-9. So we'll look at all that in this forecast update. I'm going to take you to water vapor satellite imagery. There's our storm system that is exiting with all that severe weather for tomorrow in the plains, and then becomes that big snowstorm for the northeast. So on this, the whites, the blues are your moisture aloft. Now after 4-3, our attention will shift to these two lows that are being steered into Canada. And then eventually they're gonna drop back down and become players here across the Intermountain West, 4.3 through 4.10. And they're carried by the jet. And there's uh, the, the jet forecast by close of business. Today you can see the trough, the dip over Colorado and New Mexico. And then it exits and becomes that severe weather producer. Here's the jet on the close of 4-3. Look at the northern branch buckling. Here's our Canadian storm system. There it is on 4-5. And then it begins to make its move through the Intermountain West with, with heavy snow. Here comes the second low, and it goes so far to the south. This is 4-8. I mean, it goes so far to the south that it, you almost lose it for a day. You almost The precip almost goes away for a day, and then it reemerges 4-8, 4-9, and 4-10 in New Mexico, and then eventually up into Colorado, all that uh, precip reemerges. So two storm systems. All right, here's forecast radar by 5.30 today. It's basically what I showed you on radar. Snow over Colorado's mountains, rain across the front range, snow in northern New Mexico. By tomorrow morning, it's largely gone. Then we refocus. Here comes the buckling northern branch, the Canadian storm, the first one. Dives down through California, becomes a moderate to heavy snow producer through the inner mountain, including Colorado. Now here's 4.7 in the morning. Um, storm system still moving through. There's, there it is by the afternoon. All right, now here's 4-8 in the morning. A couple of things I want to mention right here. That storm exiting. Second storm, you can, already, you can see some of the moisture diving down through California and Nevada. Again, it's going really far to the south. The second thing I want to mention on 4-8 is the solar eclipse. At Colorado time, it happens around noon. We're not going to see totality. That's further to the east. We'll probably have a 60% eclipse here in the state of Colorado. But what we want are clear skies. Now, in the morning, it's okay. Um, there's kind of a partly cloudy sky, but the clouds increase across a lot of places as we head towards the eclipse time frame. Watch the white, which is cloud cover. See it increase? So that could be a problem on 4-8 in a number of locations. And then you can see that second storm does come up through, through New Mexico and right through Colorado, 4-8, 4-9, 4-10. Okay, let me show you my latest uh, grand total map. By late 410, I'm thinking probably 1 to 2 feet, 10 to 20 inches in the Wasatch, 1 to 2 feet for the Tetons. Big numbers up in parts of Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, and Red Lodge. I'll break down when a lot of that occurs here in a second, what time frame. In Colorado, it looks good because what you're seeing here uh, is the accumulation from two different storm systems. So potentially one to two feet across the western slope of Colorado in the purple shaded areas that's over a foot. That's where the heaviest snow is going to be. So this could be a great stretch for parts of Colorado. In the, uh, the Sierra, moderate to heavy through Tahoe and Mammoth. I'm um, looking at about eight, nine, ten inches through Brundage and Sun Valley. Okay, let me break it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow, just light additional accumulations with that exiting storm, Colorado, 
New Mexico. Second time period, 4-3 through 4-5, we start to see that storm drop down from Canada. We start to see the accumulation take place. But this is the big time period. 4-6 through 4-10, um, you're, you're seeing the, the last part of Storm 1 and all of Storm 2. And you can see where it's going to be heavy. A foot to foot and a half in the Wasatch. Almost two feet there through parts of uh, the Tetons. And right at about that two foot mark in Red Lodge and uh, Bridger Bowl and Big Sky. And in Colorado, we pick up quite a bit of accumulation from both of those storm systems. Okay, last stop is in the Northeast. So some of the numbers have come down from my last update. Now we're looking at about a foot for a lot of, let's just say, um, Vermont. In New Hampshire, the numbers go up quite quickly as you approach Mount Washington. And in Maine, the numbers are anywhere from one to two feet. Um, looking pretty good for Whiteface. Um, the numbers have gone down for Hunter, but still could pick up eight to 10 inches. Um, it really just, you know, ultimately always depends on the track of these things. So that's the way it looks for this update. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map here by late 410 for the West. Again, two storm systems in the extended forecast between 43 and 410. And there is some sizable accumulation here to be had. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.